Well, good afternoon and good morning, depending upon where you're coming from. This is installment number five here at the Portland Expo. The Portland Boxing Club is proud to announce that boxing is back on November 14th in what we consider to be the most significant boxing match in the Portland area for the last 25 years. The significance of this boxing match has widespread implications. It's a rematch of a boxing event that's a boxing fan's fight. In boxing, you make fights, and in unboxing, you make fights that people want to watch. And this is one of those events. We have a special guest that night, someone that uh, a lot of us in this room know personally. We're bringing in Ray Boom Boom Mancini, who just recently got inducted to the Hall of Fame up in Canastota. Bobby will tell you a little bit more about his background. Ray is no stranger to the fight game. He's one of us. He's a guy that started in the amateur program, which is what the Portland Boxing Club is all about. Went on to have a storied career, and now he's in the Hall of Fame. So I'd like to start off by introducing who's on the fight card that night. We'll start off with a young man who served this country well. We call him the Fighting Marine. Let's have a nice hand for Jimmy Smith. Jimmy, come on up here. I'm Jim Smith, the Marine Sergeant. Uh, no secret what I do in a boxing ring. Three fights at the Portland Expo, three first round knockouts. I come forward, I bring pressure, and I bring violence. Um, like I said, no secret what I'm gonna do. Thank you. A young boxer came into the Portland Boxing Club years ago. Uh, he was a hockey player, he was an athlete, he's a great kid. He decided after high school that he would enlist in the Coast Guard, did his time, and now he's serving the community of Portland on its fire department. Here is the undefeated fighting fireman from Scarborough, Jason Quirk. Hey, Jason Quirk. Uh, I've had four fights. This will be my fifth fight. Currently 4-0, two knockouts, and uh, hoping to get my third knockout here in November. Hey. Uh, next up, another undefeated boxer. When I first saw him in the gym, I said to myself, he doesn't look like a fighter, but he certainly is a fighter. He's uh, one of my more animated characters, because he doesn't like the other two guys say a lot, but he's certainly interesting. Casey Kremlick. Uh, Casey Kremlick, the buzzsaw, uh, November 14th. Let my fists do the talking. Be 4-0, stay undefeated. A uh, great story. Uh, of all the boxers up here, I would have to call Jorge Abiyagi the senior member, mainly because of his age, which is known to everyone, and certainly because he is uh, as tough as they come. I, I think Jorge Abiyagi, in my opinion, is a world-class fighter. And I think there are boxers out there that would not want to be in the ring with Jorge. He's a national Golden Glove champion. He's in the gym every day. He, he works endlessly at his craft. You can watch him boxing guys that are 40 pounds heavier than him. It, it's nothing for Jorge to step into the ring with any of these guys up here. And he's, you know, they all give, uh, what, 40 pounds, 35 pounds to Jorge. But he's tough, and he's a New England Super Bantamweight champion. And I can tell you, uh, again, at the Expo, he'll put on a great show. Let's have a nice hand for Jorge Abiyagi. We're here today to introduce the main event that will take place here on November 14th. Now, to make a rematch isn't always an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of discussions, a lot of diplomacy, but at the end of the day, it always comes down to the two participants. Now, these two guys are no stranger to each other. They've boxed multiple times in the amateurs. They've won, they've lost. But the culmination of all of that time in the gym was best exemplified on January 30th on ESPN at Foxwoods Resort Casino. When Tommy Falawa and Russell Lamore put on the fight of the night, in my opinion, one of the best fights in New England in a long, long time. And the fact that we're gonna do it again is testimony to both fighters in their camps and their willingness to bring great fights to this great building. Now the interesting part of introducing these guys is it's very difficult because they, they share championships. Russell is the IBA America's champion, and Tommy just won Russell's belt on January 30th, so he shares the New England Middleweight Championship. I guess in fairness to the way we'll do this, we will ask Tommy, who's come the longest way, to speak first. And I can tell you, Tommy Falao 
is a natural athlete. He played uh, football at Pawtucket High. He saw Demetrius Andre and his brother Michael boxing, and he said, you know what, I can do that. And he went into Peter Manfredo's gym, and he's been training ever since, training hard. He's boxed in New England in the amateur ranks for a number of years, and has a very decent professional boxing record. And he just captured the New England Middleweight Championship, and now he's coming to Portland, Maine, to face Russell Moore here in his hometown, which is no easy task, and I know it takes a real fighter to want to do that. And I think both camps understand that, and I know that Bobby and I are very happy and pleased and appreciate Tommy and Peter coming up here on November 14th. So I'll now introduce the New England middleweight champion, Tommy Falalo. Thank you everybody for coming out today. This is what I do, I'm a fighter. I love to fight and it's fun. I go out there and I perform and you can see how much I love it every time I'm in there. And it's not been an easy road. I've had a lot of bumps in the road and I'm just ready to get back in there. This is what I do, this is what I love to do, this is what I'm good at and I'm ready to perform. Nothing's ever been easy, I don't expect it to be easy. I don't really take easy fights. Every fight's a tough one, every fight's a do or die fight. Because I know if I lose a fight, that could be the end of my career, so I'm not ready to throw no towels, I'm ready to go at it. <laughs> so, thank you, looking forward to seeing everybody on the 14th and then give you the hell of a show. Here's what I can say about Russell Lamar. He's as slick a boxer as you're gonna find in New England. But better than that, he's a world-class fighter. And on November 14th, he faces a tough task to take on the guy that just beat him. Not easy in boxing because you always remember what happened on January 30th. I think Russell's got that behind him now. And I'm in for what I consider a great night because I'm a fight fan first. And I'll be sitting ringside watching Tommy and Russell go at it. So here is Portland's favorite son, the IBA America's middleweight champion, and, and our favorite guy, Russell Lamar. I'd like to thank everyone that's out here to, you know, showing your support and everything for all of us fighters. November 14th is going to be a great night, uh, something that I've been looking forward to when I got the call that, you know, I got the rematch. So I'm going to put in everything, all my work that night. You know, last time we fought back in January, you know, things didn't go my way. You know, had an off night, but, you know, I'm willing to put everything on the line that night. And here's the maestro that keeps it all together, the guy that leaves the office and goes to the gym as I go home to have a Manhattan, and he puts endless hours into what he does, and I think Portland is uh, extremely, extremely appreciative of what he does, but I know one thing, we owe this guy a great debt of gratitude because when you look at these boxes up here, they all started somewhere, and they all started at the Portland Boxing Club decade plus ago for some of these guys. It's a lot of man hours and Bobby does it right. So without any further ado, here's Bob Russo, the president and head coach of the Portland Boxing Club. Thank you, Al. This is what makes boxing great when you do good matches and good rematches. These guys have a long history, a long rivalry. They fought five times in the amateurs because these were the two best middleweights in the region. Um, all of the fights were close. All of them were good fights. Styles make fights. These two styles are going to clash. It's going to be a good fight again. Um, there's a lot on the line here. Um, I, I do believe, like Al said, that this will be the biggest bout um, in Maine in over 20, 25 years. There's a buzz already starting about it, and uh, I think that it it's, will we'll sell the place out. Um, it's, and again, it's a high-level fight with uh, a, a North American title fight on the line as well as the New England title fight. So this is a fight that both guys have to win, and uh, I believe that they will, and uh, they will give it their all. And uh, I would do want to thank Thomas for coming up and uh, accepting the challenge because this is, you know, it's tough to come and fight in someone's hometown. But these guys have a great history. Um, and a great history of, of great bouts. So I expect nothing but, but a great bout on, the, uh, on November 14th. So thanks again, Tommy, for coming up, and uh, thank everybody for coming out today. Thank you.